I'm charged up, uh, but I'm also feeling a lot of anger uh, because, I, and, and Donald Trump does that to me every time. I feel because I have, for my entire life, fought bullies. I mean, you know, that's, that's been my, what I do. He is the biggest bully of them all. Heather, you know, Kamala Harris uh, has never debated in a presidential debate before. This is Donald Trump's eighth presidential debate, if you count the three he did with uh, Hillary Clinton and the three he did with Joe Biden in 2020 and the one he did with Joe Biden in uh, this year, uh, the 2024. He's been around doing this stuff for nine years, and she's been here for seven weeks. And let's think, since July 21st, how much she has gotten done. I mean, first of all, she accepted the torch being passed to her. She found a running mate. She launched a campaign. She did the DNC. She's raised record-breaking amounts of money. She has decided and put out her policy positions. I mean, all of this has been happening. It's been very busy for her. But Americans, generally speaking, only about 60% of Americans vote in a presidential election, except what we saw in 2020 was that 70% of yep. Americans voted. Yep. I mean, a, a record high number. And even in the midterm elections of, of 2022, uh, yep. we had a record number for midterm elections. So right. people are genuinely interested. But this is what I felt like all night. Three people there were in one planet and one person was on in a different orbit. And I would kill to hear what people say to him when he gets off the stage, his well, well, sycophantic team. Well, oh, the, you, you did great. They're all going to say that because he surrounds himself I know. and has his entire life surrounded himself with people who say, you're great. Yep. You know, you're, you're divinely inspired. You're, a, you're, a, you're, a, you're, you're the head of our cult. Uh, but notice that his technique is to use negative attacks and fear. That's all he did. That's all he did all night. As a woman, I feel like we've put up with so much of that in our lives where he's like, I'm talking, you know, or whatever mm. he said, you know, or he said, be quiet, please. That's what it, quiet. I mean, he's just, it's yeah. So I think angry and also disgusted and also sad that we've gotten this far and that people are still willing to put up with this and put that reality to the side and say, but I'm still voting for him because of X, my pocketbook, because of my core values. That's a horrible one, but it's the people who are still going to vote for him, even though they don't like him, which is a lot of people I've spoken to. There is eight weeks between now and the 2024 election. If you feel, as I do and Heather does, that this is a critical election, that the choice here is huge, that there is actually no choice, that Kamala Harris must be the next president, and we must, we must have the Democrats in control of Congress so we can actually get this nation back on track. Well, then you need to take action between now and November 5th. You cannot be just somebody who sits around and watches. Democracy is not, as I've said before, is not a spectator sport. It is really something you have to fight for.